Hey everyone, Pinch Out here, and today we're going to do an unboxing. Brand new set of solo and spoilovers for a Mark 7 Golf Sport Wagon. So, without further ado, let's get to work because this Pinch Out's rock. So, uh, when we do an unboxing, it's pretty straightforward. We unbox it, inspect it, check it out, and see if how you guys like it. Now, just for a quick story, uh, pretty much a long story short, uh, the reason why we got these coilovers is because actually my wife's car, the Mark VI wagon, uh, got totaled out by uh, the insurance company. So we actually found a really, really good deal locally for a Mark VII wagon, TDI. So. The big difference between the uh, previous generation and the new one is that it has a torsion bar versus the previous generation on the Mark VI had an independent rear suspension. So I thought I was going to be able to use my old Mark VI suspension and pot swap it over, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. So we ended up selling that and made, uh, not made, but got a decent amount of money to get these bad boys. So let's unbox. So they came in actually today. On April 1st <laughs> they were supposed to come in yesterday but they did not Now, I am not sponsored or paid this uh, video is not sponsored or paid by uh, solo work so uh, a lot of my products or reviews and stuff like that are 100% independent done by me come out of my wallet so I get a very very unbiased Un, uh, not controlled review so that way you guys understand that this is legit stuff you know so let's get you guys up close and personal with this packaging so FedEx didn't uh, ship this really nicely to us the box looks like I got a little beat, but it's suspension components. I'm not super concerned about it. Every component is individually uh, wrapped, which is really nice when, I'm, uh, when ordering suspension components. So you know everything's taken care of. So let's try the little loose bits first. Right off the bat, as typical, you got your spanner wrenches stickers and your lubrication for the actual uh, threads on the um, on your coilovers uh, so very very good it's really good for actually uh, using on all the care so nothing jams and nothing seizes all around the area that matters on your coilovers these are going to be the rear shocks and your typical solar works blue really really nice I love I love the color of this suspension Another one. All right, here come the fronts. Ah, uh, always looks good with the the gold and blue. I love their theme. Now, one thing that you guys. Uh, I got to give you guys a, a little bit of information about uh, SolarWorks is a little division of KW, so their um, their pretty much their bodies or their valve bodies are pretty much KW bodies, and the springs are SolarWorks. Um, unless they've changed that recently, uh, that is pretty much from what my current information is. Um, oh wow, this is new. I've never seen them with. Um, with these little rubber bushings are on them. My guess is to prevent them from, uh, for the powder coating from chipping. Very nice. My other ones did not have that for sure. Oopsie. 
Yeah. So these are the rear springs. And they have the same little cushions around them to prevent chipping. Rear perch. It fell, so hopefully it didn't ding too much. No. It was good construction. Love the packaging. Love being able to take my time and rip it all out. <laughs> all right. So there's that, and here's the other rear perch. Now we're down to the last component. So let's just the other front coil over here. There we go. So, let's go through these guys together. Oh man. Oh, upside down. All right, so as always with a lot of coilovers, we always want to look at the main body or the front. Um, construction, you know, how shipping is done. We don't need all of them here. So we have a front spring, the body, rear shock, and we'll have a rear spring right there, and a perch. Now, uh, my previous setup on my car were Raceline Primos. Um, they had full dampening control and everything on them, so. In comparison to these, these don't have any dampening adjustment, uh, but these are much bigger, way bigger valve uh, coilovers in comparison to the uh, Racelands. The actual valve body here is a lot smaller on the Raceline in comparison to SolarWorks for the same price point. Um, all my friends who have these wheel uh, coilovers on their cars, especially on the Mark 6 and 7, I've never heard a single complaint. Now, since we've already unboxed these, we're going to install these in the next couple days and we're going to review, do a full review on these. Since I've owned the Primos and on a wagon, uh, hopefully the SolarWorks, because um, they don't have any other style besides this one style of coilover or, style or type of coilover from SolarWorks, um, hopefully the right quality is about the same or better. Uh, around the same height. We lowered the car on the Mark 6 wagon about two and a quarter, almost two and a half inches. So I'm thinking about going about two inches on the, the Mark 7 wagon uh, with 18 inch wheels. So we're gonna have a very, very similar setup and we're gonna hopefully the ride quality stays the same or is improved. Um, I am not slamming the car uh, since we do daily, my wife does daily drive the car. Uh, so it is gonna sit we're trying to give it a nice, just a nice look. Right now, it looks like a minivan, and I don't like it. So I'm hoping that this will give a vast improvement over the look, feel, and just drive overall drivability. Um, again, for the front springs, you'll see these little rubber bushings around here. Um, more likely, they're just designed so we do not damage or chip the actual powder coating. Uh, it is on the same on the rear spring as well. You guys can see all of that now um, unfortunately I don't have it down here or on top so I don't know why that was the case but they did put it on the middle of the spring more than likely this is probably most of where all the rebounds gonna be where all these these two portions are always gonna stay probably compressed and then these two are gonna constantly probably go up and down 
Uh, they probably wanted to prevent as much squeaking as possible. That's more likely the case. Um, the perch, um, t traditional perch, nothing crazy. Uh, really nice. Um, does have a rubber bottom, which I like. Uh, prevents squeaking. That's also very, very important. Uh, a lot of adjustability, you're looking about two inches. Yeah, decent amount, about two, almost two and a half inches of uh, adjustment from top to bottom. Not bad at all. Um, same with the coil, uh, the actual front strut here. Uh, if we look on how much thread we have here, uh, we're looking at about three inches. More than likely, they don't recommend going all the way down, which in, per in turn, I also do not recommend <laughs> dropping your um, coilovers all the way down, but I'd probably keep about halfway, maybe. I'll see when I get to actually installing these to see where I'm gonna uh, actually have these set. Um, the only downside of coilovers in comparison to like say bags is the adjustment in height is not as fun because if you don't like your height, that means you gotta take the wheels off and readjust the height again. Um, they are all are single spring setups. They do not have a helper spring. So it doesn't give you that much of a drop. Uh, Solar Works are not known for being super low. They are more, uh, they're known for going low and for ride quality. So that is what really matters in my situation right now. I am not trying to go, I'm not trying to dump my wagon and just destroy it. I'm trying to actually lower it, make it look great and enjoy it. So thanks for this quick unboxing with you guys. Have a wonderful night. And again, stay, uh, stay in tune, uh, stay tuned in. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way when we post new videos, you guys get the heads up on it. And if you're not a part of it, become a Patreon. Patreon members uh, get exclusive content. On top of that, uh, exclusive merchandise and a goodie box every quarter. Thank you everyone and have a wonderful day.